Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. Yes. Um, okay. Today I want to do a challenge and I've seen this challenge going around a long time ago and people asked me a lot to do this and I wanted to do this. I'm lying, I didn't want to do this. I'm talking about the reverse makeup challenge. Doing your makeup reversed. I first saw this challenge on Tati's channel and then a couple months later, James did it, but the one who actually created this challenge was Roxaris, I believe. In the reverse makeup challenge, you know, everybody has a routine. Everybody has a workflow when it comes to doing their makeup. To some people that is lip gloss and mascara, Courtney Act. To some people that is a whole shebang, Bianca Del Rio and myself. In the makeup reverse challenge, your routine, your workflow when it comes to makeup gets reversed. So when your first step in your makeup routine is doing primer, primer will now be your last step. Get it? When setting spray is your final step when doing your makeup, setting spray is now your first step. So that means, oh my God, oh, I don't want to do this. So for me personally, I always usually finish with lips. That means today, lips are first. I set myself up for the biggest failure of my life today. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all there's to it. So if you would like to see me do my makeup in reverse and become a tragic, tragic mess, then keep on watching. Okay, so when setting spray is my final step, it is now my first step. Oh my God, this is gonna be so bad. All right, um, setting spray, I usually use two. I use the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray and a Matte Finish and the Slay All Day by Gerard Cosmetics. This, this is like a winning combo. I've never used it as a pr primer. Before setting spray, I do lips. Oh my God, what kind of lip are we gonna wear? Okay, but then if you wear lip gloss, you do lip gloss first and then lipstick. This is so confusing in my head. The look I had in mind did require a gloss, but now I'm seriously contemplating just going for a matte liquid lip. I mean, whatever, it's a challenge, we can try. So the MAC Oh Sweetie lip gloss in sugar cookies. Um, so I'm just gonna apply that first. Okay, that's that's a look, honey. Is this a lip gloss? It doesn't feel like a lip gloss. Mm -hmm. Okay, on top of this, because this would have been before this, um, I'm applying the Maybelline Gigi Hadid McCall lipstick. This is my favorite nude lipstick. I don't know if it's still gonna look like my favorite nude lipstick on top of a lip gloss. Oh, interesting. Interesting. And then before that, I usually apply a little bit of lip pencil. So this would be the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Wherever Walnut. Well, okay. Not, not that bad. We're off to a very pleasant, easy start. Okay, let me think. Before I do lips, I usually do highlighter. <laughs> but I also, oh my God. I actually wanna nail this challenge. I actually wanna walk out the studio looking really good. So what if I just happen to have a day where I change my routine a little bit? Okay, let me think. Okay, shit. What is going on? <laughs> Wait, it looked so easy in James's video. Right now, I would go in with eyes. And then the last portion, what I do with my eyes is lashes. False lashes and mascara. False lashes and mascara before the shadow work sounds like death. So usually I choose my lashes inspired by the eyeshadow look that I'm wearing or just the overall look that I'm going for. Since today, the overall look that I have so far is setting spray and lip gloss, I kind of don't know. So I am going for some trusty ones that I know will work with a lot of looks. This right here is Lily Lashes Miami. Okay. <laughs> I just hope that that inner corner wants to stick onto my very oily lids. Um, Cause usually oils and lash glue are not the best combo. Now it's time for mascara. 
And then what I also always do before my lashes is apply a little bit of black liner right in between this gap here. Cause one of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to makeup is seeing a beautiful lash and then a gap of skin from the inner corner to the lash. So I'm doing that too. And now I am doing my eyeshadows with my lashes on, so I hope I can see what I'm doing. Suddenly, the urge to do a cut crease has been banned from my body because that means I would have to do concealer after doing the shadows, which means my finished look would be a concealer lid. So suddenly, I don't wanna do a cut crease anymore. <laughs> and I wanna do a nice sort of smoky eye with a color in it. Does that also mean that if I do my crease first, my crease is now last? Oh my God, this challenge! I would do a crease and then lid. So right now I would start off with the lid. For the lid, I'm going in with this Zulu palette by Juvia's Place. And I'm going in with this shimmery blue aqua color. And if you wanna save some money on Juvia's Place, I do have a discount code for you. So when you apply the code Nikki at checkout, at the very last step, it says discount code, put Nikki in there and it will save you money on your order. Juvia's Place is super, super affordable already, but you can save even more. Okay, so I'm going to apply this on to I'm already covering my eyeliner, that's great. I also can't really see a lot. I also wanna just mention that the fact that this color goes on so pigmented without a base on my lid. Mm -hmm. Now I am going to move into the crease. Wait, hold on. I usually do crease and then do the color above it as my transition. So now, which is a very you know, people either love or hate that technique. Transition shade first, then crease color. For my transition shade, I wanted to do something yellowy, orangey. From the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place, I'm gonna grab the yellow. And I am going to apply this as my transition shade. Now it's time for the crease color and I wanted to do like an, a nice sort of brownie shade, br brown shade. I am going into the brown from the Zulu. Blending or applying shadows with lashes on is a challenge because I'm like, I'm pushing down the lash first and then I'm like, oh, now I can, now I can reach it. Oh my God, oh my God, I just remembered something. Before I do lashes, I usually do my lower lash line. <laughs> I'm so sorry, don't hate me. Okay, I'm so sorry. It was a genuine mess up. Ooh, oh my God, my skin is getting all flustered and I'm red, I'm so ashamed. Okay, I should have begun my eyeshadow work doing my lower lash line because that is what I usually do after doing my top portion. Um, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. Honestly, if we're not respecting the pigmentation that Juvia's Place shadows have without a primer right now, mm, I don't know what you're doing. This is why I'm such a huge, huge fan of Juvia's Place palettes because the pigment is out of this world. I, I'm just looking all sorts of crazy. I'm giving up. Okay, so now I think it's time for... <sighs> I don't even know anymore. <laughs> okay, so to finish off the eye look, all I'm gonna do now is some bottom mascara and... <sighs> I forgot bottom mascara. I hate this challenge so much. Guess I'm not doing any bottom mascara with this look because I should have done it right after I did my falsies, which was now my first step when it came to the eyes. I <laughs> so even though this look would look bomb with mascara on the lower lashes, I missed my chance. I will now do the other eye off camera real quick to save some time and then I'll be back for more disastrous mishaps. <laughs> Next step, I'm pretty sure is brows. I'm using the Signature Brow Pencil, Precision Pencil by Kat Von D in medium brown. This pencil's my favorite because it's so tiny and precise. Wait, no, that's also not right, Nikki. You end your brow using brow gel. So brow gels for, oh my God. I am not 
liking this challenge at all. Okay, now I get to play with the pencil. That brow gel in there is struggling. Well, it's a brow. Now it's time for the most confusing portion of this entire video in my mind. Like James, I'm substituting the powder products on my face for cream products to actually, you know, result in a passable fun look at the end of this video. What I would do last on my cheeks is highlighter. So cream highlighter it is. I'm going in with two liquid highlighters. This is the iconic illuminator in the color shine. And I also have these glitter drops by Cover Effects in the color, in the, in the, in the, in the gold one. Okay, I'm taking the highlighter. I can't wait for this. Here we go. Tapping it into the skin, holy shit. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't mind it being this extreme because we're putting the foundation over it anyways, so most of it is gonna be gone anyways. <clears throat> it, it's okay. Before highlighter, I always do blush. Blush. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. Mm. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Now for contouring, I am going in with the Nude Sticks Nudies All Over Face Color in the color Bondi Bay. <clears throat> okay, now we are blending this in, making it look cute. I just hope y'all realize that I am experiencing physical pain from this challenge, okay? This, this stuff right here, this hurts me. So I'm taking the Fenty powder and I always powder underneath my eyes. Powdering under, oh my God, we are destroying this face. I am going to powder the forehead. I am powdering right here. Now it's time for concealer. For concealer, I wanna go for about the driest concealer that I know and the most self-setting concealer that I know because I already did powder. I'm not allowed to go back in with powder unless magically powder becomes a step after pre <gasps> Jackie Ina does that. What if I become Jackie Ina today and just follow her routine? So I'm going in with the Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage Concealers. These are super, super um, matte and self setting. They don't need a lot of powder. So I'm just going in with those. And I'm just using circular motions with a tiny brush. Okay, for foundation, I want a super matte one that doesn't need a lot of powder. Um, so I'm going in with the All Nighter by Urban Decay. And I'm applying that using a beauty blender. And the final step I would do in my makeup routine is primer. And for that, I'm using the Morphe Prep and Set Spray. <laughs> And that is it guys, that is my entire makeup look done in reverse. The beginning stages became my end stages and my end stages became my birth. I can't say that I'm in love with this look. <laughs> Let's just say that one of my favorite parts of doing makeup is the skin because I'm so proud of the fact that I'm actually pretty talented at doing my skin. You know, I can blur pores, I can cover my sins away, I can powder my life away and that is not exactly what's happening today. I'm also kind of really missing a nice little contour, a nice little blush and a blinding highlight, but hey, it's a challenge. Yeah, that's, that's the face. The face in reverse. <laughs> I must confess that this 
was freaking hard. And I just want to say that I have so much respect for my fellow gurus and fellow content creators out there that actually grabbed this challenge by the balls and actually did it and came out successful because it was a long ride. Of course, if you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you guys on my next video, which will be so intense, so crazy. You don't want to miss it. And it will probably be up on Wednesday. I'll see you then.